relatives, friends, and thank you for your support over the years. Surely that's been a great help in getting us to where we are tonight. And congratulations, class of 2010. You have had victory over the K-12 educational system. <laughs> now this, this is a day to look forward with great expectations, but it's also a day to look back at where, where we've been and what we're leaving behind. So what are we leaving behind? Well, for one, we're leaving behind our old dilapidated campus. Oh, uh, well, that campus may have had its faults, which it certainly had, waste high water fountains, um, you know, music rooms made from tractor repair shops. Um, oddly <laughs> enough, I feel a sense of pride having survived six and a half years of that waterlogged campus. There was a real sense of unity, you know, when it was raining, as everyone made the mad dash to the buses trying to jump over puddles, as you huddled miserably under the umbrella that did absolutely nothing to stop the water from soaking into your shoes, you kind of felt a, a sense of equality, knowing that everyone else's feet were also soaking wet. And, and now that old campus has been replaced by a brand new school, complete with a state-of-the-art camera security system, so no making out in the halls. But you know that old school sure had some character. Today, we're also leaving behind our art rooms. They were places, hopefully, that facilitated the growth and appreciation of art in your lives. Now, I know that many of you won't pursue a career in the arts, but I hope that your lives won't be devoid of art, because music and painting and dancing can be very fulfilling in life. I certainly appreciate the School of the Arts and the mission of SOA because it was here in a school that tries to bring together arts and academics that I found the potential in myself and the value of art. That you may be, you may be leaving behind your art rooms today. Never, please never leave behind your art. Mm. And there's another thing that we're leaving behind today. And it may be a little early to say this. But we're leaving behind a lot of friendships. Of course, you'll see your friends over the summer, and, and some you'll see at college, and some in summers to come. But this is the night we start going our separate ways. So tell me, it's all fresh in your minds right now, but 30 years from now, when some of you wandering souls have settled down and had children, I mean, I know it's hard to imagine Sass wearing a wedding ring, but let's just imagine. <laughs> What will you remember when you think of SOA? Your GPA? I sure hope not. No, what I hope you remember here are the relationships you formed. Don't just remember the killer Dr. Price test that everyone lamented over. <laughs> remember instead that you had someone to lament with. Because in the end, it's the people that are more important than the grades. Now I know that there are many of, of you out there who have not yet reached this glorious day of graduation. And I know that most of my fellow graduates are not done with their own education, so I don't want to convey the wrong idea. Education has great value, especially what SOA has to offer. But don't get too caught up in the numbers. Thank you. <laughs>